Good morning, Mr. Leggett's fourth grade students. Welcome to Eureka Math. End of module. End of module assessment task for module one. We are going to be doing this all the way up to PE. I'm going to help you out quite a bit, so try your best. Don't just give up and ask for help. Think about it. Don't have that growth mindset. So put your name here and today's date. Oops, it'll be the 20th tomorrow, 09-2019. There's no need to put your, your uh, name and date up here. So it's asking us to compare the values of each seven and the number 771,548. Use a picture, numbers, or words to explain. So we're going to do this in a couple of different ways. Let's start off with a place value chart over here. Ones, make it a little longer. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands. Okay? And let's label this now. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands. Okay? Now we're going to put in the number. What's our number? 771,548. I'm going to put a little dotted line across here. Your job, I'm making these a little bit longer, is now to compare the values of the two sevens. You're going to start with the eight down here, and then you'll go 40, then the 5 is for 500, and then you complete the rest, okay? We can also do this in words. And we're going to say the 7 in the hundreds, hundred, thousands, place is, one word here, I'm not going to tell you about that word, one word here, one word here, I'm going to put this word in as, another word there, of the seven in the blank thousands blank. Okay? So you have some blanks there. Now, I do a word bank for you even. So we're gonna make a word bank up here where your name is. You pause that if you need to copy that. Then you can do the word bank later. These are the words you're gonna use to fill in the blanks. Word bank, okay? One word is ten. Another word is 10 again. There's two tens in there. Many. Times. Oops, I forgot a D there. And place. Those are the five words you're going to use to fill in the blanks there. Then we're going to have a multiplication sentence. Here we go. 10 times blank equals 700,000. All right? Pause if you need to. We're going to number two. It says, Compare using greater than, less than, or equal. Write your answer inside the circle. So we have the 234 thousands plus 10 thousands. Is it going to be greater than that? You're going to have to figure that out. You're going to have to go like this on some of these. 234 thousands, right? Plus 7 ten thousands. That would be 70 thousand. Is it going to be greater or less than? You've got to figure that out on your own. All right, go ahead and really take your time on the, these. Sometimes they're tricky. 
like four hundred thousands minus two thousands. You're going to have to do some math, okay? Go ahead and pause if you need to write that, and we're going to turn the page. <clears throat> okay, let's find out what we know about problem three. Norfolk, Virginia has a population of 242,628 people. I'm going to circle that. Baltimore, Maryland has 376,865 more people than Norfolk, so it's more. Charleston, South Carolina has 496,804 people less than Baltimore. So 496,804 less. Annotate that. Hit pause if you need to. They're asking us, what is the total population of all three cities? We need to draw a tape diagram to model the word problem, then solve the problem. Okay, a lot going on there. Asking us what the total population is, we're drawing a tape diagram, and we're going to solve. Okay, so let's get started with our tape diagram. And I'm going to help you out on this. I'm going to put an N for Norfolk, a B for Baltimore, and a C for Charleston, okay? Let's do Norfolk first, and it's the smallest of the cities, right? Baltimore has a larger population. I'm going to extend Baltimore out quite a way. And Charlotte has a smaller population than Baltimore. Charleston, South Carolina, not Charlotte. So we know that Norfolk's population is 242,628. We know that Baltimore has a population that's greater than Norfolk by this amount. And we know that Charleston has a population that's less than Baltimore, but how much less? 496,804. Now you're going to probably want to use your scratch paper to figure this out. When you do, or you could use the back of this paper, or the back of this paper right here, you don't even need scratch paper, you can use this back. You're going to label the population of each city. Baltimore, Norfolk, and Charleston, all places I would like to visit one day. All right. Now, let's go to B. It says round to the nearest hundred thousand to check the reasonableness of your answer for the population of Charleston, South Carolina. So, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to say, Baltimore's population up there Round it to the nearest hundred thousand is blank. Okay. Then you're going to say Charleston's population is about less than Baltimore. And you're going to have to go check your answer up here. Check for the number right there. You're going to have to round that number, the 496,804 to the nearest. So then, we just do the math. We would say, blank, Baltimore's population, minus Hellas, 
population of Charlotte, Charleston. So I'm going to put Baltimore, and this is rounded. And Charleston, the less, how less it is. Equals what? And this is all rounded, okay? So then you would have to say, is your answer reasonable or not? Okay? My answer about the population of Charleston, don't give up, keep reading this, is, is it reasonable or not? Okay? Go ahead and pause if you need to get this all down. Our next one. That's a boy. Is this they shorten down this test a little bit? Excuse me, Mr. Leggett. Oh no, we're gonna keep going. So it says record each of the city's population in numbers and words and expanded form. Alright? I'm gonna do the first one for you, then you do the rest. Baltimore. Okay. I'm going to do it in words, okay? So, well, no, that would give it away for you. What do we know the population to? Let's do, I'm going to cross this out. We'll do Norfolk because the population's already given. So we do it in words. We do it 242,628. We write that out. 200... Excuse me, 242,000, comma, 628. That's in word form. Now we have to do it in expanded form. It's been a long time since we've talked about expanded form. So we would say 200,000 plus 40,000 plus 2,000, see I'm doing all the place values, plus 600 plus 20 plus 8, 242,628. Now you have to do this for your answers that you got for uh, Baltimore. as well as Charleston. And if you run out of space, you can always do it on the back, okay? I'm, keep this up here if you need to pause to copy it, and we'll turn around, turn it over. Okay, you're gonna have to look back, compare the population of Norfolk and Charleston using greater than, less than, or equal. So you're gonna put your number here, We'll say Norfolk, whatever you got. Well, they gave us the population of Norfolk. So you could put, let's go look at it again, 242.68. So you could put 242. What was it? Ah. This leg's getting tired. 242.628. And is that greater than, less than, or equal to Charleston's population. So write that out too, please. Okay, so now we get to talk about our good friend Eddie. Eddie lives in Fredericksburg, Virginia, which has a population of 24,286. He says that Norfolk's population is about 10 times as large as Fredericksburg's population, 10 times. Explain Eddie's thinking. So, here we go. We're going to do some writing, and I'll have a word bank for you, okay? So, here we go. Eddie's thinking is blank because Norfolk's Population is blank. Which can be rounded to blank.
Fredericksburgs. Fredericks. Bergs. Population. Can be. Rounded to blank. Two hundred forty blanks is blank blank as large as blank thousands. Okay, we're going to do our word bank off to the side, okay? Hopefully you have enough room. If you don't, put it on a piece of scratch paper so you can refer to it, all right? So let's do our word bank. These are all the words that are going to fill in the blank. Okay, here we go. One word is um, our letter is 242,000. 628. 242,628. Another word that we're going to use is 10. Another word we're going to use is times. A number we'll be using is 24. Another word is thousands. T H O U S A N D S. I can barely fit it in there. Another word is uh, what? I, what? What? No. Is correct. Okay. Another number we're going to be using is 240,000. And that's it. Then before we go, one more thing to do. Go ahead and pause if you need to copy all that. We're going to make a place value chart. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands. And I'm going to put the population of, or the rounded population of, oh, maybe that'll give it away. Hmm. Why not? I'm going to put the rounded population of Norfolk which is um, 240,000. And you're going to show me using arrows the rounded population of Fredericksburg. Okay, I know you can do that. All right, that's it for the test. Try to finish this by PE. If not, we'll work on it on Monday, okay? If I see a lot of you didn't get it finished. Do the notes. I know some of you are chomping at the bit like a horse to get started, but you need to do the notes. Thank you.